Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of classifying shapes and solids. This is standard 3.6a in the great state of Texas. We are using number 8 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have two groups of figures, and they're just labeled group X and group Y, and each uh, group has three figures, and they all happen to be three-dimensional solids. So typically, when we're looking at uh, these terms, we're using the term solids when we're describing 3D shapes, and sometimes we'll just use the word shapes when we're looking at flat or two-dimensional shapes like circles or rectangles. So we need to find a statement that is uh, true about all of these statements. So let's just take a look at what we have here. Let's just get our vocabulary down because vocabulary can be very important. So our very first figure here in group X is a cone. And I'm just going to write right here we have a cylinder. So a cylinder, think of like a can of soup, Coke can. And then we have a sphere, right, much like a basketball baseball, anything that's just round and rolls. So in group Y, we have, this probably is meant to be a cube, but it almost looks like a rectangular prism. Um, but let's just pretend it's a cube. Just wondering about this face right here. It looks a little bit rectangular-ish. Um, but we'll say it's a cube. This is a triangular prism. And the reason we're calling it a triangular prism one way easy, an easy way to think about it is you've got these two triangular faces right here. And just pretend like you had two triangular faces and then you stretched them out for three dimensions. And that's where these other rectangular faces come in. And same with this bottom one is a rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism. Think of the same thing. You can just look at the rectangles that you get in the front and the back pretend like you had those together and then you stretched them out. And so those are our six terms. Let's see if we can figure out which statement is true. So three of these are going to be false. We'll figure out why they're false. All of the figures in group X are cylinders. Well, this is a cylinder. A cylinder has got two round flat surfaces, so right here. And then it's got one big curved surface, and that's all of this right here. But that is incorrect, because it's not all cylinders. We have both a sphere and a cone. They're not three cans, or three um, soup cans, or soda cans, whatever you want to think of. All the group figures in group X are cones. Well, that's also not going to be correct. This is a cone. It's got one round, flat surface like a cylinder, but it also has a vertex. And the other two do not. Um, the sphere has no flat round surfaces. Cylinder has two, and none of them have a vertex, which means they cannot be cones. All the figures in group Y are prisms. Hmm. Let's just put a question mark on this, because I see this word prism at the end of here and at the end of here, but I'm not sure if I've ever seen that word by itself just a prism, not a triangular prism, or a hexagonal prism, or a rectangular prism. So let's look at J. All the figures in group Y are rectangular prisms. Well, we could definitely say that is incorrect, simply because we've got this triangular prism right here. A rectangular prism is a prism that has all faces either squares or rectangles. You can have some squares, because I think this face right here is a square. And this face is a square, but at least some of the faces are rectangles. So that is incorrect, which means our answer is H. Now let's see if we can figure out why. We see the word prism here. We see the word prism here. A prism is just a three-dimensional solid, but the cube is also a prism because it has edges and vertices and flat faces. This just happens to have all square faces. So even though we call it a cube, it's a special type of rectangular prism. So our answer is going to be H. All figures in group Y are prisms.